Hi everyone! I want to do my second quarter makeup use up. I am staying the course and super excited about it. For those of you that don't know, I haven't bought since 2014. I didn't do my first inventory. I wasn't brave enough to count everything till March of 2015. But I have not bought since 2014. And I try to focus in on the items that I want to use up. If I can use only two of an item, I make great progress. So sometimes you're going to see three, not good, but definitely still making good progress. And for those of you who ask, my liquids are the only thing that I can, liquids and creams, those are the only things that I'm concerned about that could go bad. As for the powders, I sanitize. I think expiry dates are a hoax and I don't worry about it. So let's jump in on how I'm doing. I am doing really good on my foundations and keep those under four in my stash and I try to only use two and here I have three. Um, a hard candy in beige, this is gorgeous. It's very drying and very thick though. So sometimes I just use it for either my under eyes or just spots, you know, whatever I wanna cover. My, if I could only have one foundation, I think it would probably be my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. This stuff is beautiful. It's um, moisturizing. It's not drying. It's fabulous. Now the reason I have two is I didn't know my color and these are not my colors. I have natural ivory, which is pretty close. My color is actually, I think, classic ivory and then porcelain. This is very, very light, but what I do is I use it in the areas where I want the lightness. And that seems to work well. I don't know if I would purchase this light again. We'll see in the winter. But for the summer, I definitely think classic ivory is my color. So I'm making good progress on all of these. They're down, you know, about there. And this one is actually hard to see, but I think it's going to be done with very quickly. The concealer, I have this Age Rewind, which is right here. And so that'll be emptied soon. And then you can't tell, but this Tarte is definitely getting emptied. And again, a third one, <laughs> this Too Faced Born This Way. Now for a under eye concealer, I like this NYX a lot. It's really nice. Then the other kind of concealer category is this Essence. You can see I've done an amazing job of using up a lot of it. And what I use it for is either an eyelid primer or um, for my brows, where I don't have hair in the middle here. I put some of this down first before I do my brow pencil, and that helps it to stay. This e.l.f. pencil in taupe, love it. Go through it all the time. This Milani powder. It looks probably more natural than the pencil, but I don't think I would repurchase. The one shade I love is this top shade. If you have a replacement for that in a single, because I don't want to repurchase all of this, I would love to know. Or just tell me, what do you use to highlight your brow? Because this is going to be gone soon, and like I said, I will not repurchase. What I will use is just these two, which is my e.l.f. pencil in taupe, and then my Essence Gimme Brow. These two together are fast and easy for me. For bronzers, I've been focusing on two. This, sorry, I'm blinding you there. This e.l.f. Cool Tone Bronzer. I actually prefer the Warm Tone Bronzer. And then this Sonia Kashuk, which is very gold, but it's beautiful for the summertime. I love to um, contour and bronze, not only my face, but I love doing my collarbones, I do my arms, sometimes I even do my legs. You would think I'd have more of a dip in these, wouldn't you? <laughs> but I do enjoy them, especially in the summer. For highlighters, I'm using two, this Wet n Wild uh, Precious Petals. I actually love it as, um, on my eyelid as an eyeshadow or on the inside. It is beautiful. And then for the champagne color, my Mary Luminizer. Look at that pan, people. Yes, I'm proud. I hope this holds up. I'm really nervous it's gonna break on me, but even if it does, I would be okay calling that done. I'm gonna to continue to enjoy it as long as it doesn't disintegrate on me, and I love it. My two main powders that I'm using are the Rimmel uh, Sandstorm, which I really like, and that helps like if I'm using that lighter foundation I was talking about to just warm things up a little bit. You can see I've hit major pan, 
And then this Essence. I really like these. I don't know that I would repurchase it. I think that my Cody powder or the Maybelline Fit Me or any translucent powder can work in the under eye. But in the meantime, I'm using this and I am enjoying it. For blushes, for the cream blushes, I am using up this Flower Beauty. I've hit some pan. I'll be sad to see this go. This is a beautiful orange. I don't have anything else like it, but I've said in the past, I don't think I'll purchase cream blushes. If I want a cream blush to help things stay or to look more glowy and hydrated, I'm gonna use lipstick. And this is, I think, a Jordana blush. And it's almost gone. You can see I just have the tiniest bit. I'm gonna take it with me when we travel the next time and a couple more uses of this and I'm betting it'll be done so you'll be seeing it in an empties. So you know, I do work on my powders, on my blushes and my eyeshadows, but I do allow myself to rotate. But these are the three that I'm using. This is a Flower Beauty blush and I'll list everything below that I've been using for quite a while and I like that for the orange. For the lighter pink or the mauve pink, I'm using these Jordanas. This is Touch of Pink and this is Rose Silk. The reason I picked these, I looked at the number of grams. <laughs> I picked the smallest blush. I thought if I'm gonna try and focus and using these at least two or three days a week, I want the most chance of success. Blushes take forever and they're huge. <laughs> So recently on my Makeup Use Up page, I was saying how I've gotten into using nude lipsticks and love them. And this is actually a little more color than I usually wear. But I thought the other day I was wearing pink and I'm like, I have so many fuchsia, blue pink, all different shades of pink lipsticks. I'm gonna wear one. So I did. I could not believe how horrible it looked and it aged me. And I thought, am I just used to the nudes? And I decided, nope. I think I was wearing them before and I shouldn't have been. And I'm also aging and it just made me look old. So it was really easy for me to declutter. There's over 40 fuchsia or frosty or really dark vampy lipsticks, glosses and stains in here. I will take in the ones that are unopened to the women's shelter where I volunteer. Everybody's always wanted me to declutter and I'm a big believer that I'd get there when I was ready and I was ready. Now, my lipstick collection is still not down to where I want it and I'm gonna show you some at the end of this, but I think this is part of the learnings that one, don't buy backup people. <laughs> I mean, look at. Even if these are all cheap lips, lipsticks, there's easily $50 or more. And some of these are not cheap lipsticks. So I'd say there's 70 or $80 in there. Crazy. And they go bad, even though I keep them in the fridge. And your tastes change. So definitely let me be a lesson to you. But I'm going to continue working on the ones that I have and enjoy those. And I think that's what matters. That's part of this is yes, I wanna get my numbers down to what I'm comfortable with, but I wanna enjoy the journey as well. It should be a torturing process. So some of you may ask, what are the lipsticks that I like and I'm enjoying? And I will put names down below where I can, but Rimmel, shame on you that your names wear off. And I've even written them on the white part and that's worn off. So. I will try to remember what these are, but I like the Rimmel pencils that you sharpen. And if anybody knows of a good lip stain, let me know. I don't have all of mine here because we're traveling and I have my suitcase packed, but these three um, Wet n Wild cat suits, I really like these even though they're drying and then you have to put a gloss over them. And I love the Rimmel glosses that Kathy recommended. This one is Dorchester Rose and then Blushing Belgraves is a little more opaque. They're both beautiful and they go really well. You do have to use a gloss. And then I also have an orange cat suit. Like I said, I'll list them all below, but this Nut NYX Butter Gloss I'm using up. And I'm really enjoying those. Now for other stains, like I said, let me know a good drugstore stain, but besides the cat suit, I do enjoy these Maybellines. This one is pinker. The other ones that I have, and I have two more, they are all very dark 
um, not dark, but brownish. And I'd like something that's a little, it's nude, but it's a little more lifting. So if you have any stains that you love, let me know, especially if they're from the drugstore. I have gotten rid of a lot of mine, and I will be showing the numbers in a minute, and I'm gonna surprise you with something. I let myself use whatever eyeshadow palettes I want. Like I said, this is supposed to be fun and not torture. That being said, I picked out two palettes, remember that magic number of two, <laughs> that are hitting pan and very soft. And I thought if I could incorporate these a couple of days a week, either into another look or even by themselves, then I will be able to use these up. Here's the two. One is my Lorac Pro, and then the other one is an, my very first Anastasia that I bought, the Omrizi palette. I love them both. It's not that I want to get rid of them, but I do want to get my collection down, and I have others that I love equally as much, so why not go through these? For the Omrizi palette, I would be happy using up this one, this one, and this one, and then calling it done. So. I'm not a green or a purple person. That's something I found out in this journey. I do like this dark purple, and I do like these, but I have other colors, so I don't feel the need to use them up. Once I use up the majority of those three, I'm totally happy letting this palette go. Will that be this year? I kind of doubt it, because we're already halfway through, and I'm not using it every day, and that's okay. I'm still making progress. And for the Lorac Pro, I do not expect to hit pan on every, I'm not that kind of person. So for me, the mauve, the espresso, this brown, that brown, you know, and maybe some of these, I love this garnet. There's gonna be a point when I don't have enough in this palette that I can take it with me when I travel. And that's my criteria. I need to be able to grab a palette and have it serve my purposes for the whole weekend. Once I use up some of these, then this palette. I could use it at home, but why would I have other ones? So I think I'm making great progress. I'm going to put my numbers up on the screen while I'm talking. If you look in 2015 when I did my first inventory, how many categories were red versus now? And for me, red is anything over five. I know my eyeshadows and lipsticks. I will probably always have more than five. I still have way too much, but I'm pretty pleased with how I've done and getting it down and I'm not one of these people that's going to do a big declutter and then you're going to see me repurchasing. No. When I say let me know any stains that you like, I will use some up that I have and then go and get them. I am getting my numbers down and that is my whole goal. I'm not going to be a buy declutter, buy declutter or get sent things. That's why I don't get sent things. I am not that person. I am about enjoying what you have and getting my numbers down to where I can enjoy all of it. I love everything that I have and the things that I'm not. I figure that out and I'm getting rid of them, but I'm enjoying my makeup and less is more. I don't want to have to spend an evening reorganizing all my palettes or reorganizing all my collection. If I only had six eyeshadow palettes, that would be pretty easy to have in its place, know where everything is, not have to think about decluttering, not worrying what look I'm going to do. So that's my goal in all of this is, I don't know the exact magic number, but I've said less than five for most categories, less than 10 on others. And I'm just going to keep working away and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you're on this journey with me, let me know. How are you doing? Are you doing it on skincare? I'm not, by the way, I am doing it on that. I haven't filmed anything, but you'll see a lot more focus on getting my skincare down in my empties, um, whether that's face or body, both. So let me know if you're doing skincare, if you're doing makeup, if you're you don't care and you're buying everything. I'd be interested. I always like hearing and kind of getting a pulse of where everybody's at. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I always appreciate it. And I hope maybe you found this a little motivating and keep you on track to enjoying what you have. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you next time.